Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <sighs> Boy, we're at the shop. It's Saturday, 1.30 in the afternoon. As hot as can be. And I'm at the shop. It's okay, because I'm putting in my headliner. I'm actually gonna respray my pillars first. Let me get the car pulled in so that way the car starts cooling down. Because it's black and it's hot. It's black, it's a hot way to live. Being a black car. Not what I mean. Ooh, the dinger's dinging. Can you hear it? trucks in here. <sighs> Guess I'll have to pull it in here. Didn't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the truck out and then, and then pull my mini in. Like. Presser on, get the truck out of the shop. Move my mini. The door just smacked my leg. <laughs> I'm already sweating, man. Pull Lance's truck out. Boom! No, not boom. Don't boom into anything. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let the mini cool off. Oh boy. Chops closed. If I left that bay door open, you don't even understand how many people would come and talk and want to get quotes. Now, I'm not opposed to giving people quotes by any means, but I have work to do. Whew, it's hot! Sweating my butt off already. All right, so you see that? That's just a uh, nice little heat barrier. It actually works, it's pretty nice. So, next step. Get all these fans moving, getting the air moved around here. Wow. I'm gonna get some water too. But uh, I don't know if you can see all these. Obviously, I showed you in the other one. Um, they're dyed, they're vinyl dyed. So that's the point of this. It's not spray paint, it's vinyl dye, and it's nice and like stretchy I guess I want to say it's like a it, it it definitely holds well is what I'm trying to say so let me uh I'm gonna take my hat off it's freaking, it's freaking hot as can be man oh my gosh the hottest time of the day I decided to come to the shop now I hate that my lights stay on. They'll turn off eventually. 
but they don't just turn right off. Is there any way to just turn that off? I mean, it's quite annoying if you ask me. So, anyway, I'm gonna get some water here. Because hydration is key. Oh man, that's warm water. Yuck. I think I'm gonna lock this. Wait, customers don't don't come in. That that other bay door is barely cracked, as you can see. Shut this. Yeah. Oh, see the lights did turn off. But what was that like? 10 minutes. It's a nice looking car. Look how wide it opens and stuff. It's like gonna fly away. Pretty little bird. Oh, hot. Well, time lapse of me respraying these. Uh, oh, oh, oh going to be now like right now I don't know if you'll see it in the time lapse or not but that handle fell off the table midway of spraying. And then these, when I got here, I had them taped. I thought really well, hanging. They fell off and were on the ground, but they must have been dry already because there wasn't too much scuffing of the paint going on. I just put a nice coat of everything else on there. I kind of got a little, I don't know, not reckless or nothing, but, but as you can see, my hands are a little uh, painted. All right, now over to the sweat, the even worse sweat box over here. Um, me and my headliner in. I'm gonna get a few of the key points set in there, so that way the headliner can be up there. I'm trying to decide. I don't think I need to. These are the these are the rings that go around. Those look nice. Those look good. Probably be cleaned up a little bit. Maybe I'll just spray them. I'm gonna take you back over here actually. I'm gonna, here's, here's a fun bit of knowledge that I found out, okay? So let me get my, uh, let me get my key. You walk up to your car, you press unlock, it unlocks. So, my mirror, there was a plug on the back of it and I was like, well wait a minute, there's no like cardinal directions, it doesn't say like what the temperature is or anything like that. So I have my whole headliner out. I've been driving the last day and a half without a headliner and pillars. It's all right. There's nothing's wrong with that. But on the back side of this mirror, there's a ball uh, and a ring that goes around that ball. So that's a set ring. So that pops off of there. You want to be careful not to break any of those clips. But there's a set ring right there. You can see it. So you, you're going to want to let that hang. And then there's this post here. This here. You can just pull down but you're actually supposed to twist without breaking that plug. And then there's this plug. And I was like, what the heck does that plug go to? So I didn't pay any attention to it. I thought, you know, at the end of the day, the other day, I was gonna go home, I'm just gonna leave my mirror right here and go home. It does not work without your mirror being plugged in that that makes no sense to me though so i'm gonna set the phone up in the car i'm gonna pull out i had a few things in there like switches and stuff obviously i need my sunroof and all them switches to work that's where the mic is and stuff like that so um 
Here, here we go. Joker reference. But this is my final update on my, or update, final update video on my, on my headliner, at the very least. Go ahead and shut that. So, as you can see, I don't know if I can turn that off or not. Yeah. So as you can see, hardly you can see, but all of, all of, all of my pillars and uh, headliner, handles everything is done everything has been done let me go ahead and turn you guys around boom everything is now black 
instead of that weird taupe or whatever it was or beige ish oh. very clean in there now I love it oh. turning back around but yeah quite a day today um, you know it took me yesterday as well um, but it's well worth it especially with this car show coming up hopefully I can win something <laughs> uh, there are such nice cars there though I mean I'm not expecting to win anything maybe like cleanest interior for for what I'm about to be doing here but but I'm happy nonetheless I'm happy the car is running well. I'm happy for everything. High on life, boys and girls. Um, so, that, so this is part three then. This is uh, the end of part three. Uh, part four, you will see me starting to take apart the seat covers. I'm gonna start with the driver, uh, the passenger front, being that I sit in the driver's seat. And I'm gonna make opposites because the seats are completely opposite of one another. So from side to side, they're they're actually two for one. I mean, they're not opposite in any way. Um, the only thing that's opposite is the airbags. So only difference is that the airbag is on the outside of the seat. Everything else is fine. You can see here I've got some tears and the foam is bad. Same as the other side there. Um, I have my seatbelt like that because I I vinyl dyed all my panels and I scuffed the one so I re-sprayed it when I put it back in so that way it was fine. But this is going to be a matte black leather interior and on the bolsters where the perforated sections are that's going to be the plaid. So there's going to be plaid here on this panel and this is going to be black leather. It's going to be plaid there, plaid there, plaid there, plaid there. All this is going to be black leather. I don't know if I'm going to do plaid on the headrest. I'm thinking about it though. I'm going to do plaid on the armrest. I'm going to do plaid on both parking boots. That'll be really, really nice. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I've never done a steering wheel like this before. I've literally done, I have done one steering wheel, I think. And I would like to put black stitching with orange, uh, I mean black leather with orange stitching. I don't know, we'll see we'll see what happens here, but <sighs> she's done. I wanna say thank you to everybody. Um, come out to the show at the Wiregrass Mall if you are in the area. If you're in the mini group, get a hold of us. Um, it's east of the Bay Minis. That's the club I'm in. Uh, there are, there's also the Mini Cooper Club of Tampa Bay. I'm going to turn everyone around. Uh, Mini Cooper Club of Tampa Bay. Uh, it's going to be September 13th. I think everybody drives in at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, something like that. But it's going to be a big meet. We're doing a convoy from this area to Wiregrass, which is probably a 30-minute drive, I'd have to say. Um, oh, wow, look at all the, <laughs> all the pain in my hands. It's funny. Um, but I appreciate you all for watching this. I hope to continue it. I'm gonna continue to do custom stuff to this, but um, outside of this little you know, interior work, this might be the only series for this, unless I do other stuff. There will be stuff on the Lance's Top shop, uh, like updates and, and things like that, how to's. Um, I don't know, I think outside of that, I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, let your friends and family know, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.